Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, please do so right now. Hit the like button. Appreciate it. On with the video. Let's go. March down here at the dry cow lot. I'm gonna start feeding these dry cows. You can see the sun shining, they're just shining. They're waiting for me to feed them. I'm gonna feed, I'm gonna put some sand in these, these free stalls. They're getting down there. I had to stockpile some sand. Uh, frost laws are on, so you know, there's load restrictions on the road. So we get it hauled in. We're very serious about our, our bedding our stalls. Um, it's key. That's why these cows shine the way they do. I mean proper nutrition for one, but the sand they're laying in that sand and It just cleans them right off. It just like it scrubs them right down. So let's start feeding them check back in Today is one of them days, it's a windy day. Uh, not real ideal for this setup. That, that is a problem with it, but it's not windy all the time. Like when it's calm down here, it's, it's nice, but I made it happen. Just a little bit of blowing going on. All right, I'm kind of quieting down here. Bunks are full. Now we look over the cows. Let's check them out here. Um, got a heifer. There's a heifer I just brought down. If you remember the mother videos I was telling you there, the heifers are full of crap. They're in a pen pack. Um, they're getting rowdy. It's starting to dry off. They've been using the stalls. You know, these cows are like people. You put them around a group of people, they'll, they'll eventually mold right into the group. And that's how cows are. So you, you have a bunch of cows laying in free stalls. They'll eventually do it too. Let's look for someone to bag in here. I'm going to keep it quiet here.
and I'm out. Yeah, there was a cow there. This one here looks like she's bagging. I just dried her up. That's what helps when, you, when you're the one doing the breaker keeping the work. Sometimes you'll get a dry cow down here. You just dry it up. She's still shrinking down. That's why she, to someone that doesn't know or like an employee, doesn't know the numbers for the paperwork. They'll say, she's bagging. No, I just dried her up. She's not bagging. She's just been down here for a day or two. And they just shrink down. Two months later, well, about a month and a half, they start growing back. The way it goes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start cleaning these stalls out. We're going to start dumping some sand in. Let's do it. I tell you what, working those stalls like that with that shovel will give you a little workout. I think that's why farmers, maybe they live so long, I think, because they gotta use their mind, they gotta use their body every day. Constantly, if it ain't climbing a silo, it's shoveling the stall like a construction worker. I do that right after I feed them, okay? And I'm doing that so they're occupied, so that I can come in here with the machine and fill the sand up. Let's do it. done this sand we use sand to bed these stalls every dairy farm does it a little bit different we do it because we're here in the thumb of michigan we're by a, a, a sand pit gravel pit everything that supplies and fixes these rows pretty much comes from the thumb and we haul all the way down to the city so we're lucky we're about two miles from a gravel pit We've got fresh sand screen some's better than others this stuff's not too bad it's wet it'll dry out though because it's been piled there but other farms I've seen, they go to, they use sawdust. Uh, Northern Michigan, there's a lot of sawmills, a lot of trees, loggers. You know, they use saw, you use what's, what's available to you. We used to bed with straw. Sand, I think, is the best if you can make it work. Low somatic cell, that'd be low bacteria in the cow's milk. There's not a lot of bacteria in the sand. It's pure, and, they, and it keeps them clean when they lay in it. Uh, the sand, or the, or the straw we used to use it holds moisture once it gets wet and that can uh that can grow grow bacteria so just trying to tell you that uh let's keep on trucking let's keep on let's get done here Stalls are bedded, cows are getting the bunks licked up. I've got a couple bales I fed in there. I'm gonna scrape all this up tomorrow. See what I do, I do this different steps. I'll plan on what I'm gonna do. I already know I was gonna do sand today, so I wasn't gonna be able to scrape. So I've gotta get back up there to feed them milk cows again. So I did in here, I did these stalls here yesterday. I'm gonna go in here and, and muck out some cow patties but you can see they look in, they're in good shape 
I did this area uh, yesterday, did the area in there, and then now I went into here. Uh, you do things in steps, and that way you're not overloaded, and uh, that way you stay on a, on a time schedule. So let's head up there, feed these cows lunch, the milk cows, and let's check them out. I got some new ones, new cows and heifers that freshen. I want to show you them anyway. So feeders on, cows are lining up to eat right on cue, warmed up, ball cap on. As soon as I fired this up, I seen Greg, he's up here, my younger brother, he jumped in the skid steer. He's put sand in these stalls. There's a heifer that just calved right there. Check the other out on that back row. Clean, which means all the afterbirth, another heifer right here, lining up, don't scare. Broadside, how you doing, bud? Some warm breeze coming through here right now. I'm feeding them, when they, I'm gonna line them up to eat. Another heifer wanting to get up right here, I'm looking at her, she's a little spunky sucker. She's kick at me. I got her pretty tame now, give her number 22, all white. Check the bag on her when she turns. There's grandma, easy grandma. There she goes. Going to get her some. Anyway, Greg takes care of these stalls up here, does a good job at it. I do them down there, so maybe we'll be able to, you see he got these bunks here. Eating right up pretty well. I'll fill these back up. There's a veteran cow there, just calved probably two weeks ago. Uh, five calves. When she first come in, kicked like a son of a pup. Uh, and another one right here that just calved, 125. Let's just get the back of her. She calved last week too. I told you there's about 10 of them, but yeah, I remember, you remember them. Like that one used to kick 172. Every year she got a little nicer and nicer. Now she's older and wiser and says, so I ain't even going to deal with it. I'm just going to get along and milk. Moving on. Pretty good, main bunk's full, Greg's filling these stalls up. See, I mean, this is just some fluffy, this is a different variety of sand they got. They, they found a pocket in their pit. They don't even have to be screened, it's so pure. That's beach sand right there, buddy. These guys are mowing, bunks are lined up, congregating, hanging around over there. I'm checking this bunk too. You know, I'm not gonna fill it too full because there's not as many on this side, but look at this, this is more of that sand. We keep, we keep them fluffy. They're important. It's important to keep them comfortable, you know. It's key. are fed stalls are bedded getting quiet around here now um i mean look at that baby's lined right up there it's a nice shot right there everybody's happy make sure you subscribe subscribe to the channel stick around for a while uh see how dairy farmer does it here in michigan trying to represent the dairy farmers best of my ability uh stay on the dairy products milk cheese all that kind of good stuff follow me at kip sigler farming on instagram and uh, see you in the next video. Thanks.